Hi everyone, welcome to the scientific series of muscle. Today we are going to learn and understand the pectoralis minor muscle. Why this muscle is called pectoralis minor? Because it is situated over the pectoral or chest region. One more muscle presented over this region that is bigger than this one. So that muscle is called pectoralis major. This one called pectoralis minor. Attachment of this muscle, this muscle attached over the medial aspect of the collagen forces of scapula to rib 3, 4 and 5. Sometimes this muscle rarely get attached to the second rib also. If you know the origin initiation of this muscle, comment your answers below. I will tell you the origin initiation later in this video. Next we are going to understand the function or movement of this muscle. Every muscle produces two way movement. So this muscle also produces movement from collagen forces to the rib and rib to the collagen. First, we will see coracoid process the rib movement. Consider this time rib attachments are fixed. The first function of this muscle is when you look at the pectoris major in a lateral view, the fibers are running somewhat horizontal oriented manner because the scapular attachment attaching posteriorly, ribs are attaching anteriorly. Okay, so when this attachment, rib attachment is fixed. Coracoid process attachments move towards the rib attachment. It pulls it, produce the protraction of the scapula. Produce the protraction of the scapula. Forward reaching movement of the arm. The second action of this muscle is, when you look at the muscle in anterior view, superiorly attached to the coracoid process, inferiorly attached to the rib. The muscle pull happen in this way. It helps to pull the scapula down. That is called depression of the scapula. And one more action in the same view, if you look at the muscle, it attaches to the lateral aspect of the scapula. When the muscle pull happen in this way, the glenoid cavity faces downward, the medial model goes upward. So it produces the downward rotation of the scapula as well. So finally, if pectoralis minor contract, it produces the combined movement of protraction depression and downward rotation of the scapula like this one. Next we are going to look into the rib move towards coracoid process. Consider this coracoid anatomy is fixed now. The fibers are running vertically. When this pull happen, it helps to elevate the rib. When this movement happens, when we take a deep breath, when we take a deep breath. So the pectoralis minor also called accessory inspiratory muscle. Clinical correlation of the pectoralis minor muscle. If this muscle gets tight, it will cause two major problems. First one, directly the brachial plexus, subclavian artery and subclavian vein passes or sandwich between the pectoralis minor muscle. If the pectoralis minor muscle gets tight, it will compress the brachial plexus, subclavian artery and vein. That will be called as pectoralis minor syndrome. Second problem, tightness of the pectoralis minor cast rounded shoulder. Rounded shoulder. Rounded shoulder leads to dropping of the clavicle. So there are radial to space between the first rib and clavicle. Reduction in the costo clavicular space also compresses the brachial plexus, subclavian artery and vein. This is called as costo clavicular syndrome. These two syndromes are one of the type of thoracic outlet syndrome as well. Finally, answering to the question, how to identify the organ ingestion of the every muscle? This video I will explain better to me. So, most mobile attachment called insertion, less mobile attachment called origin. Here, we used to move your arm, proximal attachment so much, right? Distal attachment, rib attachment, very less frequently we used to move while taking a deep breath. So, proximal attachment here called insertion, distal attachment called origin. Hope this is useful to you all. Happy learning. See you in the next video. And also, comment below which muscle you want to learn or understand next. Thanks for watching.